Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series and in this video I'm going to talk about matplotlib and this is going to be tutorial number six and the subject for today is a line chart. So a line chart or a line plot or line graph or curve chart is a type of chart which displays information as a series of data points called markers connected by straight line segments. So a line chart is often used to visualize a trend in data over intervals of time or time series. So let's look at an example. Uh, here we see is here we see a chart for a monthly mean temperature in Florida. Since this is to visualize a trend in data over time, it's good to use a line chart. So we have our months and our days, uh, or we have our months, January, February, March, all the way to December, with our temperature in Celsius. So in December it's 16, March it's 18. Uh, June, it's 27 degrees Celsius. So let's create a line chart in Python to just plot this data out. First of all, we want to import our matplotlib uh, module, matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And here we import the matplotlib submodule, pyplot, and we rewrite it as plt. And we also want to put our data into a list. So months is equal to Jan for January, uh, Feb for February, and I'm going to keep going down the line of each month. So April, May, June, July, uh, August, September, October, November, and December. And now we want to create another um, list of corresponding temperatures. So, temp Florida. For January, it's 15. Uh, February, it's 16. March, is 18. 21, 24, 27, 28, 28, 26, 23, 19, and 16 for December. So you see that these numbers uh, correspond to these months. And now we can actually make a chart and show it. So plt.plot months and temp uh, fl. So I'm plotting these two lists with the marker equal to O and plt.show to actually show our graph and see we have our line chart. So uh, what you can see is that we have our line chart with solid circles connected by line segments and each marker indicates a temperature value in each of these months. So in December it's basically 16. Where is it? December it is 16. Um, January it is 15. Uh, March it is 18 and so on. And so we have different types of markers. For example, we use this uh, we use this O. We could change this to a star or an asterisk, and this will change the marker. There you go. We can change it to S. Oops. Let's change this to S. And these are squares. We could change it to D for diamond. So I'll change it to D for diamond. And for more information about these markers, you can just check out the matplotlib official website, which is matplotlib.org. And let's continue adding on to this graph. So you see that we have our um, data, but we don't really have our labels for our axes. So let's add in our labels. I'm going to change this back to O. So plt.x label for my x axis. I'm going to label it, label it as a month, plt.y, label, label as cell, cs, temperature, plt.title, and I'm going to set the title as monthly, monthly temperature in Florida, or just FLS short. And there you go. So now we see we have our labels in our x y and we have our uh, title at the top 
And we also notice that the default color of the line is blue, and the default line style is a solid line. So if we want to use a different color or different line style, you can use a or you can add a color parameter in a line style parameter in the plot command. So right here, if let's say I wanted to change the color to red, I'll just set the color equal to red. And I want to change the line style equal to let's say a colon. And here we see a major difference. First of all, the color is now red. Instead of these straight lines connecting each dot, we have basically these dots, a line of dots connecting the dot. And so the line style is a dot. Now we just plotted the monthly temperature data in Florida. You can also actually plot more than one data set in this line chart. For example, let's say we also have the monthly temperature in New York and we want to plot it on this chart too. Now, how do we do this? First, we have to create a new list for this new data set. So temp New York is equal to, and the temperature in New York is going to be a lot cooler. So 2, 2, 4, 11, 16, 22, 25, 24, 20, 14, 9, 9. And now we also need to pi plot. So we want to add another plot plot months. And instead of temp Florida, we're doing temp New York, we will set the marker equal to a asterisk or star, set the color to blue, set the line style equal to uh, dot, and now we have basically two uh, different line charts in the same chart, so two lines in the same line chart. And we can also change the title. So we see here that the title is monthly temperature and oh this should be Florida. Oops. Monthly temperature in Florida. And I'll change it to and New York. So now it is an accurate representation of our graph. So this um, red represents Florida, this blue represents New York. And let's say I just show this to someone, you know. Uh, my family member, and I asked them what this red line represents. Well, they won't really understand what this red line represents, so to basically add this piece of information, I'm going to add a uh, legend. So to add a legend, I'm just going to add a new parameter, which is label equal to FL, and I'll set this label equal to NY for New York. And then I could write pot uh, legend. And now we see that this uh, red line represents the temperature, monthly temperature in Florida, and this blue line represents the monthly temperature in New York. And we can add, we can also add in grid lines to make the data values more clear. So this is a simple pot dot grid. And now we've just added grid lines. So originally, let's say I looked at this point. Well, it would be kind of difficult to see whether that was 20, 19, 18. But now with these grid lines, I can see that it is around 19, not necessarily 20, and a little more than 18, I think. So 19 is a good number. And instead of these default gray grid lines, you know, I'm going to change the color to something like green and change the line style equal to uh, two dashes, and this just makes it a dash. So now we've changed the grid style to green and dashes. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.